No! no. Right as I hit live. <laughs> no! <Of course. laughs> This first thing I'm buying. No! See, so see these like Twitch redesign, I never would have known because I just live in the dashboard. <laughs> so I'm like, there's a front end. I just click the button. And... <laughs> you know how I use Streamlabs and the video producer button to export. I'm like, wait, there's more to it? <laughs> People watched it on this platform? <laughs> the one that one button. I thought this was a video management platform. <laughs> oh, that's why I have Matt's Scout Ship. That's one of my pages now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually took that page. So I knew what the fires were. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I think his was a little beefier than the fighters, but it's whatever. Oh, well, that's what all fighters. They're all the now. same now. Yeah, I was like, they're all Matt's ship now. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So, favorite question for everyone. If I remember correctly, we were destroying Naga's fleet. Oh, I thought you guys had six HP and were in his throne room <clears throat> on the Death Star, and we're like barely about to get it. Oh, we just found the. No, we're flight. actually about to fight a uh, John Luke Picard of USS Starship Enterprise. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot. You killed, like, you completely killed his entire crew. I didn't kill his crew. He went crazy. He went, he, it's just that Matt killed him. I reported there was heresy on the planet. So I and called in the extermination of that planet. To the Fulton Science Council, who immediately declared, decreed that non-logic was a problem, and then vaporized the entire planet. Even though they could barely get into Badlands somehow, they could get there. <laughs> and then, that's right, he survived somehow. Got one of the escape pods working. Drifted out. Killed the Maquis. Took their vessel. Was coming for you, but the Enterprise was sent to stop it. So he was barely making it. He eluded the Enterprise and managed to steal an old Excelsior ship, Excelsior class starship, and was coming after you. But the D had caught up to him. So that's where we left off. The Enterprise D had just engaged his vessel. The I am not a douchebag because he was <laughs> filling out the forms. He filled the wrong form out. So no, I just filled the forms wrong. I put for instead of um. Reason for joining. Uh, I put ship name. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, what would you like to do, Starship Pilot? <laughs> yeah, that's your name now. Last name Pilot, first name Starship. <laughs> pilot, pilot. <sighs> okay, that's me. <laughs> you, you know, we're, 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 we're going to have to change that. Captain Pilot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You guys know my name. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, all forms of official shock up. <laughs> Quiet, major, major. <laughs> all right, is there Captain Beta around here? Oh, this gonna be stuck when he comes, Mike Major. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Huh? What? Yeah. All right. So, where were you all? Coruscant. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, because we just um. <laughs> no way, we were on back. That's right, I tried to land the ship and the door was open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Serenity is now parked. <laughs> hey, can move uh, the planet, though. Jump! <laughs> Yo, I, got, I barely got out with my ship. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> if I had been that Mercer, you would have died. <laughs> and we saved that... Uh, the outbound flow. Yeah, the outbound explorer, whatever it was called. Up, save all the people we can save from that. And, and we captured some of their ship pieces. Took the study it. All right. Those were handed over to the Republic Naval Command and Republic R and D. They are being examined. It's going to take a while. They're very curious as they poke and prod them with needles because alien abduction risks at this point for those ships. Blondie. Good God. All right. So. And we heard about a large station in Hut space that travelers spoke of. Uh, Correct. Like rumors. Something diverting through the Varl system, but that was about it. There were just rumors of it, and a particular buildup of ships in Hut space, but that's not necessarily unusual. And Hut decide they want to just impound everything going through their territory. They've done that before. They are greedy bastards. So. Fat bastard. What? Fat bastard. Yes, he is a fat bastard. He drinks fat best for wine. Alright, so, as you all are at Coruscant, being briefed in the day and a half leading up to... <laughs> hey, I haven't had to touch the board, which is great. <laughs> a day and a half leading up to <clears throat> the meeting with Naga Sadao, a Republic R&D specialist comes up to you. Yeah. Hey, hey, thanks for the uh, 
Thanks for pieces of shit that's weird as that is. They're making some kind of mucus that sticks to everything. It's really kind of gross. Mm. But uh, we do have a question for you. Have you ever been in the C. Marty system? <laughs> no, you would not. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no one gives a shit about it. That's why it's <laughs> no one cares. No, nope, I did not see that C system. Okay. Um, <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> well, we're only asking because we found some kind of, before all the Clone Wars started, we did an expedition out there and found an old, it's kind of ancient base thing we were curious about. And, uh, if you got time, we wouldn't mind you stopping by and looking at it. We're not really sure what it is. We think it's, you know, might be of some use. In the worst case, we get some tech out of it, you know, the incoming, like, what did you call them, the bong or something? Close enough. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah, for a word. Yeah, whatever, uh, whatever they are, we figure that can help. That sounds sound like it can help. I'll have to check that out when I can. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, he walks off. You see, where are you at this point, or do you care? <laughs> um, well, I guess if you walked up to me, I guess I was wandering around. I will say, you will say you were at the Republic Executive Building. Yeah. As you're there, though, some of the survivors are being taken off and debriefed. You see a couple of the Jedi milling about, because two of them are night, a knight and a uh, master on board <coughs> to ensure the project went forward. I can't even pronounce the guy's name. It's got a what the <coughs> apostrophe in it, or colon, or whatever. An asterisk. Oh, that guy? Apo- yeah. Tilde? Uh, accent? No, it was not an accent. What was, what, I don't remember what it's called. Sad bio. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Well, was but hey, it's like sad bio. Yeah. He doesn't. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, he's a clone. They're gonna cut his head off. But it's cool. Blondie, yeah. cut it out. Yeah. All right. So she keeps it up. She's going in the cage. So anyhow, you see them milling about and speaking and uh, continuing on with what they're doing as you're standing there. A group of knights, about three of them, along with a handful of public personnel, walk through the main executive area and proceed up towards the elevators towards the chancellor's area. Seems they're on a mission of some kind. So, hmm. um, which one? Where um, am I? Am I here too? Uh-huh. Okay. I guess I'll write down that I heard that thing. Oh, the trip was there. You heard the same one. Oh, yeah. <coughs> was it Seymour? I thought it was Seymarty. No, it's Seymarty. Seymarty, it's S E Y M A R T I. So I. I Samarty? I don't know. Uh, I just say Seymour 5. Seymour <laughs> 5. Base or something. Mike you know. Jones? <laughs> Is there a Mike Hunt anywhere in the building? Mike Hunt. Mm hmm. Hey, I have a pizza delivery for Icy Wiener. Oh, come on! So, so a base and a whole bunch of Republic officials and, Je- and Jedi Three warriors. Jedi Knights and a handful of Republic officials. Mostly Naval Command. And none of them are recognized. Mm-mm. There's a base... No, the, um, the transition ceremony... The transition that? ceremony is in like a weekend now. Okay. But by this point, Command has effectively been hand- <clears throat> then handed over to the Republic Naval Command. Yes, yeah. they've been around. It's just all the decisions went from one group to the other group. They said, don't listen to them anymore. Done. So I guess I'll assume that that, uh, I guess that's more of the information briefing of what's being transferred over, I guess. It's up to you. I mean, something yeah. hostile. Will look you can look it. into it more if you want. It's up to you. It doesn't look hostile. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm dead and engages some sort of white long character. <laughs> Heresy. I think I'll be good. <clears throat> All right. So you they're remember. strong knights. So if they know how to defend themselves, they're getting attacked. <laughs> they're strong knights. Sure, that's not what we're worried about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what now? You have one and a half days until one day eight <clears throat> until you're being knocked out. Um. I don't feel like there was something I should do. So 
swap out my Kyrate Pearl for the Edgean Pine Crystal. Yes, you should. You should. Hey, unless you lost it. No, I still have them. I was just didn't do it yet because one's a plus two and one d four damage, and the other is a plus three. Oh. So. Uh, roll a d four for me. For your Kyber Crystal. Four. Four. Okay. Cool. <laughs> just, cool. Just determining what I have to know. It explodes on Von and <laughs> yeah. the command up. word of Dakebud, it will detonate, resulting in a supernova that will wipe out the immediate star system. This is yeah. As well as Coruscant at the same time, because fuck it. <laughs> yeah, could be worse. <laughs> Downsides. I'm not hearing one. <clears throat> is it? No. You just don't want me to say Dakebud. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess we haven't really gotten any contact from the monks. Dang T? Uh, yeah. Nope. But nothing from them. I mean, they gave us the thing that's all I want. Well, they said they were going to use the gem to detect the future or something. Yeah, they speak in riddles. That's what they do. I don't know. You go back there in the air, we all report. I thought you were going to look inside your own <laughs> mind's eye, but I guess not. No, they just tripped on acid and back. Yo! Oh, <laughs> this Kyber Crystal! Dude, <laughs> if you sit under the point, man, you can see the future. That's just reflections of you. I am the future. Parallel universes, bro! <laughs> <clears throat> just put it down. You're holding it up with a force. I don't want you to drop it. I don't want to drop it with flings it. Boom! Uh, <laughs> the wall! See what I mean? So my shift that's out in the unknown regions. Mm -hmm. That's the where it is on the mob. Sick head or whatever. S. Ziagat or whatever it's called. The Zonaba Sikhet. Yeah. Over that planet. Oh, did you want to roll a science check? So god. That where it's found. Yeah. Since sure. it's been there for like a month. It's fine. <laughs> Just sitting there. They ran out of fuel. It's Star Wars. <laughs> fuel is a big concern here. I think can figure the exact moment. So what is a science check supposed to be? Yeah, I told you. Actually, investigation. Oh, investigation. Okay. 18. The planet itself is alive. Yeah, we kind of have left one. Yes, and the nature oh, the yeah. beings on it are seemingly part of its skin ecosystem, if you will. It appears to have been drifting. It actually has been moving to hyperspace. That's mm -hmm. the trail you detected. Alright. Do 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 do. It's another bomb motion. <laughs> Just a lot bigger. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Actually there aren't any bomb on board on that on that planet. Most of what's there appears to be somewhat force attuned, not heavily. Standard life like would adapt on most worlds. How far from Mercado, how, how long would it take to get to Mercado Prime from this planet? For a ship. For your ship? For the ship that's there. It's one of your modified renders, right? Yeah. About a week ish. You could yeah, beat, you could beat the Vong there. Alright, I send. I leave the 100 HK droids on the surface of that planet to continue. Genocide. Continue <laughs> <laughs> genocide. <laughs> continue studying it, and I send the. Oh, that's the rest of my fleet, the one ship. To, uh, to the whole fleet. <laughs> 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 Alright. To Rakata Prime. Yes, in the last day, I guess we can go somewhere and try to do something. I feel like there's something we to look up. That's a word! Okay, there we go. No, it's not. Apparently. I call bullshit. Alright, so what are you doing? Mm. I mean, look at your map. So many planets to invade. So little time. Uh, which one's the seaware system? Uh, it's an M13. Is that small? Yeah. As I. As you just destroy the map. Ah! Fuck the stars. As much of bullets just fall from the sky and just destroy. <laughs> Coruscant. No. Boom. I can sense millions of voices crawling, oh. crawling out in despair as they all get shaken violently on their planets. Yes, I feel millions of thumbs crying as well. <coughs> spun very, very fast. <laughs> now we will begin the Jedi ritual. Touch your tongue to mine. <laughs> I'm 
not doing that. Fine! <laughs> Begin your fucking training. Alright, so where is it? Who would like to go? Uh, I guess jump to the Sea Mario system and do a quick, some quick scans of it to find this base they're talking about. Alright, so. Boom! Whee! Boom! Your ship appears. In the Sea Mario system, there are nine planets. So weird to travel that. Travel time. <laughs> so weird. Sir, the uh, jump drive didn't actually decelerate. We appeared without it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Looks back behind you. Part missing part of the ship. Hmm. <sighs> Oh. Everybody escape us calmly. If we don't acknowledge the fact that there shouldn't be any oxygen in here, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, but you appear in the C Marty system. Um, can you give me any, any uh, idea of what kind of base or what the base is made out of or anything? Right? Not really, no. Because he fully expected you to like take an R&D team with him, with you. <laughs> like, he didn't say anything about that, damn it. <laughs> You didn't do much research on it. <laughs> Let's go there and look at it. But where's the base? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. minute. What are Preliminary like, scans. Wait a minute. We'll, we'll come back we'll, after we talk to Naga. Yes. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. That's not it. That, uh, uh, no, the only that, information that was sent to you from him states that it's on the fifth planet in the system, which is a habitable planet. Standard core, I think it's actually in the core of the colony. I can't remember if it's on the damn line. It's on the col it's on colonies. Okay, so standard colony world, fairly well populated. There are stump still some areas that aren't city. Has a long history being with the Republic. It was one of the first systems to actually join from the colony rent colony reign, quote unquote. Uh, uh, temperate climate. Well, I say temperate, but that you know means very it's not a monolithic climate planet. It's not hot. I guess I will scan some of the more vacant areas for a base, or signs of base. Okay. Perception check, please, from Serenity's point of view. Roll. Uh, 16. There are a handful of odd structures in outlying areas. Some of them seem to be old bunkers from back when before it had space travel. Some of them match the description of a abandoned base. There yeah. are maybe six or seven. Alright. This, this will probably help us to just narrow it down when he, if he looks at it and what he's seen before. Okay. So. Uh, got. I'll see. Got possible locations. Mm. Um, let's be done with the fucking day. Oh, um, I guess check out the center point station. Alright, so you return to Corellia, the Corellian system. Boom! Which I had clones working on stuff for the power cores, right? Correct. They were doing as much as they could repair. Alright, I mean, fair enough. Alright, and so. Should be. Was a good amount of tricks in. So you had mostly repaired the hard drive. Yeah, hard drive just uh, repaired. Um, the heat dissipators were what they were working on. Yes. Okay. This is the heat dissipators. Can you go hold two mechanics checks, please? And I'm trying to find. There it is. There's a lot of stuff back. Uh, two. What? Two mechanics checks, please. Okay. Border codes. Oh. It's a 2 and a 15. The first day, they were just banging their heads on the wall. <laughs> the next day, they're like, oh shit. Wait a minute. I just realized what to do. We had to have blood off. <laughs> After one of the bang particularly hard and a bit of the soot fell off, like, oh shit, we need to keep this crap up. <laughs> wham, wham, wham. <laughs> Alright, so, after some a rough start of it, realizing that most laser and plasma-based cleaning tools would actually fetch away into some of the heat sink, I have to make a couple of scratches. Switch gears and actually found a solution that would work. So they are working on it. You'll need two successful more checks above the DC of 15 to fix it. Alright. So, getting. getting cleaned. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna want me to wait on those checks, right? Yes, please. Because they're still working on what they've done. Uh, yeah. Then I will. Try again to main computer again. To avoid the anti intrusion software. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, how are you going to handle this? Um. I 
I guess I'll just try maneuvering my way around it through the firewall. Or oh, okay. Really. Slide pan check, please. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. That's a one. Uh, yeah. It's not having any of that shit. It's like, really? You can't just keep pressing space bar over and over again? You make me feel broken. Why don't you understand me? Skip <laughs> cutscene. Why <laughs> oh, can't I see the cutscene? Oh, that's the first time watching it. Fuck! Just press B! You're a level 39! You've seen this before! Apparently I have it! It's the one thing I forgot! <clears throat> um... So the lockout is basically the lockout is attempt is preventing you from making any major changes to the system. You okay. have control of what there is now. Obviously, it's not working because the emitters are down. The heat yeah, down. nothing's really. But you gone. could not go in and say update the galaxy map. You couldn't go in and tie into Republic network systems. You couldn't add SNO2 as a user. Anything like that. I can't really do anything else. Exactly. Yeah. And they function only in the current mode it's in. Something is preventing you from leaving that area. Um. Can I study how this block works? Try. Another slide of hand check. Here another one. It's not a one. <laughs> uh, that's a three! <laughs> it's an eleven. Modified? Oh, wait, that's a seventeen modified. Okay. It, I thought it was a ten, it was a sixteen. You have a rough understanding this is some kind of combination of machine learning as well as identification profiles. So it seems to be somehow parsing them. It's not an AI. Yeah. But it's like one step below it. It's a VI. His name is Vigil. And he's warning you about the Reapers, damn it, pay attention! <laughs> Besides, I'm gonna take all the rest of them pretty quick. <laughs> Obi Wan stop his fleet somewhere and fuck him up. Throw on assassination team on Coruscant. Same with Chancellor Amidala. Doug, you'll just shoot him on the bridge because why not? Um, Lordis, uh, Lordis might be harder, but finding her is gonna be the issue. Yeah. <laughs> all my poor NPCs. <laughs> I wonder if Star Wars ever had AI. Yeah. Well, you know, yes, they do. These two say yeah, have droids. <laughs> That's yeah, it. They, do. Much they don't have stuff. like not like Cortana level AI. Yeah, nothing that like runs things. They were very much against that, but there were, it's because there were a couple of droid wars on those planets. Yeah, the closest thing we got is now him <laughs> <laughs> on a base in Hello. certain locations. I have SNO two. Protocol droid. Protocol droid. Your whole base. Mega part of the cannon. I don't protocol to it. <laughs> My protocol is war. Boom! 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 I'm here for peaceful means. <laughs> the world the galaxy will learn by peaceful ways. By force. <laughs> Gandhi, 101. Mm -hmm. uh, Gandhi from Sid. <clears throat> they can't be here in society if they aren't in society anymore. <laughs> this Bakra is still about the same level of. Repairs has always been. Um, actually, uh, I need you to things. roll just a general number. Just a general. Listen, I, I get it. You're angry. You're upset. <laughs> and uh, actually, just... Matt has taken over. Krang is now a uh, sin inside Bakra. <laughs> he is Bakra. He is the AI <laughs> core. Bakra. Bakra himself with Bakra. <laughs> uh, just normal. Just check. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay. <coughs> Made you contact him on Bakra. Beep. You're contacting Beep. the clone left in charge of the situation. We'll call him Kite. Sees you. Sir, I was actually just about to contact you. We were looking through and working on the, at least the Republic R&D team was working on this relic. And I think they've made an interesting discovery. It's an anti-force kind of 
gelatin, I guess, is the best way to describe it. It's organic and it likes to. It isn't affected by the force, but it seems uh, learnable. We should clone one of our armor. You see him pick the camera up, and there's a little clone helmet next to the spherical, gelatinous sphere. It's kind of shimmering with the same pulsating. Would that be tone? No. Tempo. Okay. Of the sphere. I'm really not sure what to do with it. It hasn't done anything weird, but puts the camera back on him. We're not sure what to do, actually, with it. What do you want us to do? Um... Burn it. Carefully <laughs> research it, I guess. Well, we've, we've been trying. It doesn't want to really... The only way we got it to learn is to feed it these little things, and he holds up a... Well, it's like a small protein bar. It's a little tendril from the, <laughs> the sphere. <laughs> no! You haven't ended it yet. Puts it back in his armor. If you see what I mean, it seems to love the stuff. We don't even know what, why it likes it. Does it like the protein bars and ammo packs, actually? It's something about the energy we think they feed off of. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for the update. Yep. So large. Do multiple letters in a row, row damn it. No. I think I didn't hear that, or? It's up to him. I mean, it's normal communication on the bridge, I guess. Uh, weird thing eats energy packs and. <laughs> I know I can't spell it. You don't have to remind me every three words. Not bad. It will. Don't worry. All right. So what now? You checked in on Bakura. Production is still kind of moving slowly there because only 300 clones and for a little bit they didn't know what to do because Krang left and all that usual junk of transfer command. Oh. So for three days they hosted a pool tournament on the, the uh, upper level. 300 credits exchanged hands. The capital city was transferred to a clone, ranked private for about three days. He gave it back when he realized he had to pay taxes on the property. <laughs> I guess, um... Say time skips are possible, too. <laughs> no, I feel like there's no. stuff I want to do before, before time skips. I can do more stuff! <laughs> yeah. I can fit it a lot into this one point card base. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, say he's into some Marty. Beats the galaxy in one point five base. Beats the whole... <laughs> Beats you on bomb. Yeah. <laughs> the whole invasion in one point five base. Goes to meet Naga. I guess I... So about that uh, shared alliance. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll check the archives on that kind of booze creature. Sure. You return to Coruscant. Strength the docks. Takes a couple <clears> of hours. <throat> you don't recommend, you know, going places. But, eh, whatever. <laughs> so, you reported there. First, you're going to search this. Um, Google. Force sensitive ooze. <laughs> it's not really uh, force sensitive. I, did, I thought you said something there. No, no, not no, nothing. Force immune. Force immune. That's right. Uh, uh, so I guess then I'll start with uh, force immune things. All right, the list returns. Uh, not a lot, of course, but there are some. Most of them appear to be prey species that were hunted by force-sensitive creatures. There's really nothing that matches a gelatinous oops. Nothing that aligns with that. Any legends? Well, that I'm going to need your own investigation check on. Star Wars Legends. Mm. 
22. There are a couple legends of the best way it can be described as sentient goo. <laughs> Again, lack of better terms. It's very loosely defined. And it's defined as being a kind of creature that is a byproduct of a failed force alchemy. Very rare. Only ever mentioned a couple of times more in the version of a Jedi legend. You know, hey, this can happen if you're not careful. And it ranges in tone also of what the, the Uzu's intentions are. Sometimes it's evil, sometimes it's curious, sometimes it's inert. So Legends of force, Failed Force Alchemy makes the use. Yeah, correct. You know, and there was also this one time they built a robot who turned out to be crazy. Yeah, he, he didn't like brunettes. Yeah. <laughs> they apparently moved his AI core into another guy named SNO2. The two managed to overcome the protocol. One just went crazy and blew itself up. And zero, we don't talk about him. Yeah. He's still somewhere out there. Hunting lawns. Damn. <laughs> I heard a whole spot planet went silent the other week. <laughs> I hear they only have blondes on it. Yep. Uh, blonde five. Uh, four. Five was a trash dump. Remember? We talked That's about right. This. All those bottle, all those bottles dying there. Yeah. It's made a lot of waste. It's also where I kept the brunettes. Yeah. All right. So, what now? Can't think of much else to do. So let's go ahead and time skip. Time skip 1.5 days to make your relevant roles. Well, I'll let you do one. <laughs> yeah, the Katana's fleet's still not here yet, right? No. It's taking time. It, it'll get there, don't worry. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Because it gets Eventually. intercepted midway and uh. <laughs> get intercepted. Take it over. Not like they, become part, they become part of Brodigen's fleet. That's okay. As soon as they get pulled out of hyperspace for any reason other than them pulling themselves out, uh, self destruct. <laughs> Ooh. He learned well. <laughs> <laughs> he learned very well. Very well. All right. So time skip 1.5 days later. Wait. You got about three and a half hours until you meet Naga. Do you go to Jaco? <laughs> Nah, fuck it. Well, oh, that's that's where that we're meeting. Yeah, three hours. <laughs> um, I guess the current plan was to do was to go there with the. Uh, yep, the chancellor's on the board, rest, and the rest of the council. Yeah, Space Windu, Obi Wan, and Anakin are on board, as well no as Yoda? some random ass knight. Because why not? No Yoda. No Yoda. Yoda has something he'd like to attend. To. Mm, all right. So. We'll stick it to Yamu because why not? <laughs> Double brain is coming along. So, you, do you go to Jakku? Yep. Boom. You arrive at Jakku, which is a. Uh, it's a lot of sand! I recommend it. Uh, I recommend the sand tour. There is actually, to give you some background on Jakku, there is also a large desert storm that can go through, as well as sinking sand pits, and there's some other stuff in Legends. Basically everything that's dangerous about sand is on this planet. Yeah, it's very sandy. Except sand monsters. And sand people. No, th no Thresher Moths? Ah. No, no Thresher Moths actually. Not yet. There's no Element Zero here yet. After the battle, there will be. Oh, keep yeah, that in Wiping out the good guy Reapers. <sighs> Mom was disappointed too, so it's cool. Now it's intended to watch the direct control. So I got 77% of the stealth drives. There you go. You're getting there. Am I supposed to be adding these percents? You should be. Oh, then I've had 100 for a while. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were adding them all. Huh? Yeah, uh, okay. I had no idea. I was like, I, was I, like, how the hell I rolled a 98 the first time, and after that, I was like, rolled again. I was like, I got this number. He's like, oh, okay. Look. Oh. Okay, so you're rolling then. <laughs> Oopsie. <sighs> all right. So much research just got completed. Oh my God. See, we've been done with this for a while, but here. 
You just. We're just they were perfecting sinking, it. We've just been sinking money off of you, not telling you. <laughs> it's now it is now 20 percent completion. It does 20 percent better. Does even better than that. I'll re also researching the AT jump drive. What was the role for that one? Remember that wasn't the percentile. D twenty. Yes. Eight. Oh. Yeah. Not any closer to that. You good over there? Yep. Just yawned. Uh, it was a yawn piece. <laughs> because of the yombies. The yombies. There's a, there's a whole bunch of people staggering around yawning all the time. So you should, a, but you can't look at them when they yawn, so otherwise you start yawning, then you're then you can hear one of them. It spreads quickly. Yeah. You die. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it gets worse with a yawn in your face. Then it's really bad. You look right up in there. You get the morning breath. Goes in there. <laughs> you can smell it. You can smell the yawn. And the yawn just takes over from your soul. It starts it starts around here. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> he dies. You don't need that anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Trying to find something. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> well, that's the thing. There was. Uh, I'm trying to feel figure out if it was here or not. There was actually a like EU thing that I wanted to look at. As I can't remember if it took place. It took place on a desert planet, but you know it's Star Wars, so like 50 of them. You did like 900 desert planets, one ice planet, one city planet. And the rest are nameless. <laughs> the rest are just rocks in space that people live on. No one cares about them. Exactly. Nothing fun happens there. Yeah. But this was like unless, legends. Unless it's Kashyyyk, but everything happens there. Gee. Yeah. It's just like a. Yeah, put the watch huh? In. Huh? Oh. He has watch to watch. Head. His watch. Oh. Okay. Oh. Watch. He has to watch his watch. It is unwatchable, otherwise. There was it, it. I'm just remembering there was maybe you know, the story where there was a droid ship crashed the sands or something, and it turned out like he knew about the stasis ships or the orders or whatever, and he was captured by the CIS. But his ship went down in a, like a desert, like hard to reach area, um, and some bounty hunters found him. Like, yeah, I couldn't remember the name of the story either. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All for my end. Yeah. yeah. If Matt was here. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the name of the the. Uh... Uh. <laughs> the longer to bring around, Matt would need a historian. Yeah. What was this random ass incident that happened? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a. Uh... Yeah. Uh, it was episode thirteen. Uh, Clone Wars. Uh, <laughs> ties in with blah blah blah. Okay. That was during the sexual escapades of Yoda. <laughs> really, not really well known. Uh, <laughs> Some series. Did very poorly in the ratings. Great cult following though. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was called the Green Dick Saga. <laughs> the Green Dicks. All right, so you are in orbit of Jakku. Bombarding? Got it. <laughs> it's just a it's just a bunch of desert. No one cares about that. It. It's nowhere, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Max arrives. Wait, what? Just sees a bunch of Jedi destroying a planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> Begins bombarding the other side of the planet, yeah. starting pulling it. Whoever reaches the middle, the uh, equator last loses. He, they are clearly the supreme chancellor. <laughs> it's one of those games where you see like 98% uh, completed. 98. You just start sides. wailing on the key. It's just a bar in the middle of the screen. You just see the little laser going yeah, closer. Just, <laughs> back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Tug of war. Tug of war. All right. So. Alright, so. Oh, okay. 
might have been Abafar, actually. <laughs> Where this all went down, but I had that. Abafar sounds familiar. Nah. Oh no, it sounds a bit far. Mm, nah. nah. <laughs> oh, those legends. Okay. Would help if I actually went to apparently uh that's like Oh wait, that's what Lump Yeah. <laughs> Knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> Anyhow, Whoops. you've arrived at Jakku. You're in orbit. At the moment, you are it. Well, you and your three others. Your two other vendors. Yep. You're it. You are just sitting here. A couple trade ships take off and go by. YT freighters. Unidentified box with engines. Other odd looking ships. Basically piecemeal. The kind of thing you expect from almost unknown regions era trading. Um, Otherwise, it's a very oh, unimportant shit. planet, not even on hyperspace lane. So. And there's and there, um, troops about like a few hours away from us now, and some near the Death Star currently, right? Yes. There is a small fleet, by small 98-ish ships, awaiting just outside Lenvar system. No, not Lenvar. The fall system. <laughs> this whole time. Yep. The fall system that will just boom, 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 right on top of the Death Star if need be. Another hundred ish nearby to take on Naga if the meteor rises. Cool. They're about 20 minutes out from Naga. That's if they hyperspace it. Yeah. Oh. I guess we wait a bit now. Alright, so you're in orbit. After about three and a half hours, boom! Bunch of CIS, vendors, odd cargo ships drop out. <laughs> that looks like Naga! No, uh, no <laughs> I guess. And they begin approaching Jocko when you are hailed. Beep, beep, beep. Good. Beep, beep, beep. I see you have honored your part of the bargain to arrive. I know you're not one to piss off. Well, that's rather good to know. Where would you like to meet to discuss this? The planet surface is, of course, free real estate. That was my plan exactly. Very well, I send you thing. coordinates. Beep. And they send you coordinates. For your canon reference of the week, <laughs> they send you coordinates to this location. Outpost Nemo. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> um, where Ray is in the beginning of Force Awakens is Outpost Nemo. Yeah, Nemo. I still haven't seen that. <laughs> As it continues flying. <laughs> keeps going and going and hits a car and keeps going. <laughs> Alright, so you descend to Outpost Nemo with your LAATIs. <laughs> a bunch of shovels <laughs> drop him off. A couple of old Starhopper CR fifties. They're the uh they're they're getting replaced by the Lambda shovels. Ones with a thick swing little basically. Boop! Cockpit. Whee! <laughs> They, he descends. You know, the edge of the system are a bunch of freighters left over in various states of disrepair. They've been disassembled. Some are being worked on, some are not. Some have tarps over them. Some of them are in Falcon. But you know. <laughs> hey, that one looks familiar. <laughs> garbage, all of it. <laughs> Blow it all up. Yeah, garbage will do. Alright, so. Naga's group walks up. Various war zombies. It's clear from the way they're walking and the weapons they're carrying. You're surrounded by your clones. People of Outpost Nemo are kind of skittish and staying far away, but still having to do their jobs because it's like a hey. Walks up to you. Chancellor. Jedi. Jedi. Droid. <laughs> Protocol droid. <laughs> this is horrible for my actuators. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you. This alliance you propose, what would this entail? You see Star Helix uniforms, by the way, on the actual non-Force guards. Poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter if the Force zombies are not. Poor guys. <laughs> have to work for this son of a bitch. You lean, lean over the Force <clears throat> zombie. You got it good, right? Right. Knew it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really hope I wasn't given the, the power of, of, of all, all control over this. Because I know if I was given that, I'd piss off somebody at some point. Uh, I guess I'd pass that off to the Chancellor. Hmm? I mean, he's asking me what the treaty will d d detail. 
At this point, he's basically asking, okay, you don't know, he, you have no idea how you're going to deal with the bomb, neither does he. Yeah. So basically, okay, then if you pose an alliance, what the hell is going to plan me? What the hell is up? Well, we have center, we have center point, you have the Death Star. Between the two of them, that should be enough to destroy anything they throw at us. Is Central Point operational? The well, last time I was able to get a clean sweep before my vessel was unceremoniously turned into debris. It was having some issues regarding its emitters. It's working on that. I uh, sincerely hope so. Now, I do have some concerns if we form this partnership you keep speaking of. There is an organization that has been wreaking havoc in the galaxy, or at least being unchecked. Blank Star? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the situation regarding this organization? Well, uh... They've already taken care of a planet I assumed control over. Yeah, we heard that one get liberated. We are definitely going to be looking into them, too, because they've doing some really weird stuff now. Well... It concerns me that their actions seem to leach into the Republic. Uh, a lot of them. Are my spies correct in that the Grand Master of your order, looks at the Jedi in you, was killed? By Blank Star. I haven't found a body yet. Well, we're operating under those rules, are we? Anime. <laughs> I too am a man of culture. <laughs> 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 but I only watch dubs. <laughs> the Jedi immediately attack him. <laughs> like with that. Damn it! Just just pull the whole area up. I, I want to die here too. <laughs> <laughs> it looks at you. Yes. It, will that be? How will that be looked into if your legal structure is compromised? Off the books. Interesting. What assurances do we have that we will not be attacked, or we merely have to trust you? By Blank Star or by by us? By Blank Star, I take you on. I've posed enough of a problem to you that I know either you are too fractured to deal with me, or there's been a, a, a significant outside influence. I mean, there's no guarantee that any neither of us will be attacked until we find out what's going on and who's controlling everybody. The Chancellor steps forward. I can assure you, we will investigate Blank Star. The level of control exerted over the Senate is uh, disconcerting, to say the least. Looks over. Is that so? You see him wave his hand as though it's a giant mind trick. So, he's going to try to use Reveal Truth. <laughs> Essentially. I don't know if there's a force equivalent. Is there? I mean, there's a mind probe. The mind thing. Yeah. Well, so I just that, definitely work. that definitely worked. That definitely worked. Uh, there is like a. I'm gonna do it. I didn't roll advantage because it was just to give him kind of a. Mm -hmm. and she's yes, we are in fact already looking into it. You can tell she's me. <laughs> forced to say that. Yes, you see, Mace Windu. Not forced, but compelled to speak the truth. Yeah, coerced. See Mace Windu. That's enough. <clears throat> One cannot build an alliance with forced trickery. You see him stop and she. Let's <sighs> see him very well. Have you spoken with these outsiders? They tried to trade for, trade us a while ago, and a uh, stupid third party kind of must fucked that up. Explain. Um. Well, we sent them. A we were trying to give them a giant force crystal, and the third party blew it up. In you front speak of, them. of the anti monks. I thought we were still talking about Blank Star. No, the ball. Oh, yeah, the ball. Not the ball. We have a prisoner, and we just recently fought some of their ships. Need your old persuasion check. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I mean, no, no. This is to see oh. if he's persuaded enough. No, to join. To join. Uh, swap back, swap back. Seventeen. Let's see what his. He is persuaded. Yay! 
Yay. You seem to be telling the truth. But should we fight these invaders? What happens after? If we are successful? Fuck. <laughs> I mean... This will just shoot you in the head, I don't know. If we go back and kill each other, I guess. <laughs> No. The usual. One of us tries to backstab the other. We just shake hands, go back we, to our sides, and start fighting again. We mutually fail. Nine. Realize the blank star was in power the entire time and are executed by the new oligarchic overlords. <laughs> Sounds fair. Everybody. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> stops. It's, uh, it's clear this needs more time. Most of the chancellor. A trial period, if you will. After contact is made with the Vong, I will share my network with you and resources, and we will determine should they become searching a piece, which I highly doubt. We will proceed our separate ways, as there is no need to align ourselves with each other. Agreed. Aww. If they are here to stop us and take our lands, they then we will not allow that. And if they are here to take our lands, we will then discuss the spoils should we actually succeed. If we'll come up, do not be fooled into thinking I will forget. Of course not. He turns and walks in us the force. You may all level you. Both of you may level. <laughs> may all. Matt, but... you lost the level. <laughs> well, I don't hear any complaints, so I guess uh, he's okay with it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come back, his character is level 4. <laughs> the same as his apprentice. You know, there's actually a... Uh... You are 15 now, right? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. And in the old in the uh, old book, there is actually a force thing that is actually has a extracting query force part in it. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm t t keeping it as like a Jedi mind trick kind of thing. Yeah. So. I mean, it's... Basically, what this is. This is basically yeah. just you extract uh, information from them. Oh, the target truthfully answers one. one question you ask it via telepathy. Okay, cool. As long as there's something on there. Yeah.
Let's and we're it. back, filmed in front of a live studio audience. Things going. Mm-hmm. Like, the only thing you pick is. I don't have an applause button anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can put a soundboard in this. I'll have to look at that. All right, so. You successfully formed an alliance with Naga Sadao. Woo! Give it a solid 4 out of 10. Wouldn't recommend it again, but good for one visit. <laughs> Jakku gets a solid 1 out of 10. Too much sand, temperature not right, air conditioning not, not, not included. Did not change bed sheets in my room, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Did not change bed sheet, no complimentary mint. 1 out of 10. Good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can afford. So. 19 days until contact, well, 19 and a half-ish, <laughs> days until contact with the Falling of Prime. They will arrive there, and even though Ricotta Prime may or may not be there, there may or may not be a ticker tape parade, depending on whether the Tax Council and Tourism Board got their shit together in time, but you know, if there isn't, I bet the Falling are going to be a little upset. Probably not bad enough to put a Yelp review yet, but <laughs> we'll see how the hotel booking, bookings cost. We'll see that. We'll see. Uh, so, that's I'm going to send... You are a Jakku. What now? I'm going to send 20 ships to Owen to mine Captain Crystals. Okay. Yeah. Put the direction and uh, information on uh, your sheet. I'll note it here. They will be for you. what? Move this over and make another call. Oh, no, no, too far. Too All right, so your, two, your 20 vessels have deployed. Um, may I ask base of operations where they're going from so you can have a rough timetable hmm? for travel? Oh, from Kuat. Kuat, I guess. It's about yeah, a week. the closest. Oh. Six days. It's on a major hyperspace lane. The holdup with it is going to be going across because there's no hyperspace lane directly to Ilum. Yeah. All right, so where to now, boss? We might have to just start discussing what D and D game next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well, might not need a third person <laughs> just yet. Yeah. I could bring someone in a new campaign. Oh, true. I mean, we have Fallout, Star Trek. Uh, there was DC and Marvel have one each. Um, oh, yeah. like Although I mentioned it's weird though. Hmm? Yeah, I mentioned it's got to be about the same. It just yeah. appears. Yeah. The, no. uh, the Serenity the one, the Halo one, and the. Um, when I said Fallout, they're all 5e conversions. There is actually a base Serenity, just like there's a base Star Trek that uses the uh, D6 challenge system. It's so. a modified FFG, modified Fate. It's where you use the six die. Oh, the, yeah, you roll two D you roll successes. Yeah, you roll. Uh, what does it do? Two D like each system like has its number like two D12. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like let's uh, say you get a 24 on a two D12, two twelves. You are going to succeed at your task no matter what. Oh, Otherwise, that? it oh. sets the yeah. difficulty. Okay. So let's say you roll. Let's say you're bad at something. Two d six. You get a twelve, but you get a plus three. So you fifteen. Anything under a fifteen on a d twenty is a success. Mm-hmm. So a one is a critical success, which counts for two. I set the difficulty of okay. You need three successes. Mm-hmm. You roll two d twenty. Boom. A one and a fourteen. You're it's done. You it's a system it. we would have understood from the other Star Trek world. If we actually pay attention to I mean, read the Star book. Wars, yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. Well, That's okay, it didn't help that it didn't use the numbers. It was like yeah, it was all yeah, it acquired special die. It was all those special yeah. The one for like Star Trek's version of FFG has numbers. It doesn't matter. It tells you what the numbers mean. Yeah, I mean ours had a conversion guide. We had to look at that every goddamn. Yeah. Time. So just letting you know. Yeah. Also, they they also designed that the buy is one large kick. Yeah. But yeah. those are options to be thinking about it, whatever yeah. world yeah. you want next. All right. So but now we're gonna just go really off the wall and try Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> hey, I like that one. <laughs> oh, damn that! <laughs> but then I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> what are all these things? I'm just, I don't... <laughs> Join the club? <laughs> yeah, I would be out of my depth there, just like I'd be out of my depth with FFG. I mean, I I know a little bit because I've been just the audio book. That's about it. I've read some of his books. Yeah, you I don't tire collection. You don't succeed in Call of Cthulhu. You just oh, postpone it for like a thousand years <laughs> and hope your character doesn't go nuts. Yep, but he will. But he 
You opened the portal to uh <laughs> you've opened a, I fucked a sugar off. Oh god. <laughs> Listen, Maybe I thought you rough, but you're oh, really uncomfortable with making me uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is when you know your character's awkward. Uh, and at Kawat, I started constructing my destroyer class ship with the three modifications. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's take a little bit of time, but I can get none. Yeah. Um, that reaches nine, it'll be done. Oh, okay. It's ten days. Ten days, yeah. They've, now they've got all the plans and stuff. They know what the hell they're doing. It was getting all that to work together. So. What to do now? What to do now? Yep. You have 19 days to dick around. <clears throat> so you'll spend 15 of it jerking off in a corner. Please, I'm celibate. So yeah, jerking, jerking off in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> and then you'll go like, holy shit, on the last three days and do all the quests. <laughs> you know what? There are two things I hate in this world. Incomplete lists. <laughs> there, are ten, there are ten types of people in this world. People those that understand binary and those that don't. And you know what? Procrastinators, there are tons of good things about us. Number one, we put things off. Number two, tough to finish the fucking list tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastinators, unite tomorrow. Introverts unite separately in your own homes. <laughs> away from each other, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we've done jokes. Yeah. Discussed us various systems and their benefits and cons. Uh, <laughs> talked about fucking sugarons. <laughs> jerking around in a corner. How to procrastinate these demons. Oh, we're playing Star Trek, right? Oh, yeah, Deep Space Nine. Wait, no, I was going to say, do you all want to know? You know I can handle that with no thought. That's what I would be like. I'm pretty sure I can see the boner behind the screen now. Hmm? I can see the boner behind the screen now. Yep. Maybe nine. It's like. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man, it's making him smile harder. <laughs> so I just, I've got this sword now just to work out the kinks. Bing! Hit me harder, sensei. Oh, God. <laughs> Goes to dip it in water. Oh, yeah, choke me harder. Fucking hell. <laughs> Waterboard me. Yes! <laughs> Walks away, the sword's done. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> um. I guess another check on center point. Okay, you jump to center point station. Boom! Your rolls, vessel appears. Rolls for the clones. Mm -hmm. Can't shit, please. Wow, four and five. Yeah, nope. They're not getting any headway. They're it's just not going well. Wait, so has it been another day since? So... Oh, I get no. He waited. No, he waited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been one point five days. All right. So you're at center point station. What now? <laughs> now we have instant traveling. We, you know, don't have to worry about that. I'm going to say normally that would have actually been a fair travel time. <laughs> you would have wasted 10 days just getting back to Coruscant. Yep. <laughs> Not no more, motherfucker. Uh -huh. Boop, 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 We've been across the whole entire galaxy a couple times. Mm-hmm. We literally live in a couple worlds. <laughs> you know what's you know what to be good that I, uh, Farge isn't back? You want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, at the moment, your only real major quest is to repair center point. Yep. I need to remove the Stop Naga Sit Down quest. That <laughs> you can not. still stop them. Or just put a question mark on it. Stop right. Naga Sit Down. <laughs> you can, stop Naga Sit Down? You can put all of your efforts into repairing Bakura, and you have the Samarty Vive system. Samarty Five base. C5. Yes. C Marty. C more <laughs> <Seymour> base. <laughs> yes, Seymour. Um, yes, that is cr that's location. Is. Could I have some clone engineers try to help me get past the firewall? Could. This is as likely as if they can't interact with it's like a little bit of coaching kind of. Sure. You might roll on an advantage on that. Still a mechanic check though. Still, that's a two and a three. Damn. That's Jesus easy. Christ. Put them in the break. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to go in there. No. Nope. He will suffer. All right. So that's a uh, still not working. I guess I'll try that one more time because I didn't roll one this time. <laughs> so boring. Very well. This will. Let's say. So glad that's an advantage. Well, I was gonna say let's say that you spent a couple days here. 
Two no days. Worries. Two days to kind of get through all this. A couple of attempts, very simply, you make your rolls, whatever. And can you uh, change the number on the bond conduct? Yeah. Thank you. So, can expert? Correct. Um, 14 plus 7. 21. Yeah. All right. Blackjack. We don't do DC. I want to go to Vegas. <laughs> but anyway. Um, after you were finally able to bypass the anti-intrusion software, there is a locked partition on the hard drive. You are now able to change the reconfig files. You have found a backup store of them. Set in an offline partition, not connected to the network, password encrypted, but your DNA handles the password part. This locked partition is marked as dead open, do not inside. AKA, don't open that bitch. But the clones state that that seems to be the point of entry for the uh, anti intrusion software. That was what was causing that partition. They don't recommend opening it because they don't know what it does, but it's there. <coughs> Fair enough. I'll they can't guarantee that it won't come back either. Of course. Did you, now that you have control, are you connecting center point to the Republic's network or leaving it offline? Um. <sighs> Stop. Snooze. <laughs> if only. Uh, up here. Go on up here. Go on up here with the boy. Up here. Up here. That's it. Nope. I'll leave it offline. Okay. I feel like connecting will have some kind of drawbacks down the line. Okay. Cool. So now it just needs to get the power back up and deal with the nanovirus. Ja, come on. Oh, and the and the hard drive it needs to install some physical repairs. Needs what? Hard drive still needs physical repairs. I did the backup, but I didn't repair it yet. Yeah. That now that you have full control, you are able to get the information needed to create the quantum foam that exists at the core of the station. Well, okay, let's put it this way: the quantum foam that will replace the digital storage at the core of the station. Because quantum foam doesn't break down except for 20 billion years later. Digital hard drives only last like oh you know measly two millennia and then it's degrading. So I know how so I know how to make it. And I just need to get the stuff now. Correct. You just need to get R and D to make it. So cool. to speak with Republic R and D as they are aware of this technology and can institute it. It was considered theoretical, but the plans were actually in the hard drive backup, as it was clear this was supposed to be an upgrade. All right, cool. You also mm. found some interesting. Uh, Stellar data on that backup. Was it like really stellar data? After polishing, yes. Very reflective, deep, stellar. almost bright. Stellar. Yeah, man. Interstellar 555. Five, five. five, I missed one. There are four fives in that one. Five, 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 five. Uh, five. That's a really weird movie if you've ever watched so, it. So, but actual stellar as in stars, right? <sighs> yes, this is. Uh, Stellar cartography data in regards to the Corellia system. Its orbits, the way it was constructed using center point. Basically, it gives you a how to guide, as then this is how we made Corellia. Okay, so it's the instructions on how they put it. It also tells you how to determine where stars are, the movements of the galaxy, hyperspace lanes, things like that. I found a user guide. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is how to. So first, today, take I this see, matter and. So today, I see you've gone and bought one of them. Their center point stations. They really are a middle grade model. We recommend upgrading. But if you're going to stick with it, you can build your own star system. So first, arrange all your planetary matter in an area that's easy to get to. You know, and once you've got that ready, we can have your star system cooking in about five minutes. And in 20 minutes, you'll have a fully civilized planet. So first, take your planet and you put it here. You take a star. <laughs> it's one of those cheap cooking shows. Yeah. <laughs> it only takes five minutes to make this. But 45 minutes to get everything ready. It goes all right. It's cooking. <laughs> well, I was already prepared. Uh, I was already prepared. I just left out my steam. Bam! <laughs> yeah, I was already prepared. It's just down at a restaurant. I'll have a burger. Cooks pasta at home. Yeah. Cooks something instant noodles. Cooks pasta, sets pasta on fire. Mm. Pours, <laughs> pours cereal in, pours milk in, bursts into flames. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's new. Physics broke today. No, that's not physics, that's just my uh, personality. I have light things on fire because I am so nice. <laughs> that's, I, don't, I know I didn't have to help you. That's what makes me so nice. <laughs> All, right. All right. What now? So You spent two days at Center Point Station. It has progress now, finally. Yes. And um, roll another mechanics check for clones. I'm going to commit a holocaust. 16 mm -hmm. and 4. 16 succeeded. One more success. The heat sinks will be fully clean. Hooray. You they'll take at least power 10 more days. Yep. They'll take 10 more days. Take ten more days to have my rolling. Yeah, does it mean still? That's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's still time. If you'd like to spend more time at Center Point operating on, you may. No, I think this is good progress. Let's quit while I'm ahead <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> Natural one on the emitter. Correlate <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> into the star. <laughs> Damn. What did they do for us again? Yeah, I'm getting you to leave. <laughs> German dungeon midget porn. Hmm? German dungeon midget porn. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so bad. They fill this up with anything with uh, German midgets and anything with an amputee. We don't sell porn anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it really grinds my gears. Alright, so. I guess send the scans to. Explorer Corps, that was... Explorer no, Corps is the Jedi organization. Yeah. Republic, um... Republic Futures Division will be who you want to reach out to in regards to the stellar data as they will use it to predict any kind of stellar disasters coming up. Uh, oh, that, that too, but I was thinking about the, um... Seymour system. Oh, no, that would be Republic Research and Development. Okay, so that, that's the one I want. So I guess I'll send them that data okay. to the... Start people that data, then the research and development, the scans on the planet yep. for the base. Cool. And while they look that over... Yeah, they reply back stating they'll need a couple of days to scan the system themselves and corroborate if you want to wait. If not, they can send you what they already have. Um, There's yeah, also obviously the station mentioned in the VAR also. So. Yeah, I can wait on that. Uh, Quick jump to talk to the survive the rescuees from the outbound light. Yep. Okay, so you jump toward back to Coruscant. The knight and master have been taken in by the Jedi and are being, I guess you call it, forced medical care. They're meditating on the experience, cleansing themselves with light side virgins and shrink. There's no. They're seeing. They're seeing a shrink. Yeah. <laughs> they're like seeing a giant mountain tip about being chill. No. You know, they're just ah, 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 on the rock, and it helps them because it does. Okay, then one second. Yep. It's like, no worry about what I was doing. I was doing whatever the fuck I want, bitch. You this is my me. house. You can't control me. I own this bitch. Smack. So <laughs> Drew's like wailing on me for, yo, you gonna get on Fortnite? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Damn. Watch, no. bitch. <laughs> well, it's like, I heard a bag. Actually, we're so close to the path to affiliate. My dashboard has changed to where it says past 30 days. The only thing I need is the 50 followers and to get back to three average viewers, and they will interview us. 
and I will actually make money. Now, don't you have to stay at that kind of no, range? No, it has to happen within a 30 year period. Okay, once it happens, then you're at there, and then it's just however many things you get, depends on what you get. Right. Right? That mm -hmm. makes sense? <laughs> Say again. Once you pass the mark, you can stay past that mark. The only thing that changes is how much you get. Yes. You still don't see anyone after that, but you don't get it. of subscribers. I can't dip below 50, 50 uh, followers. Now, to get to partner, you have to have, I think it's 100 average viewers and 1,000 followers. If we get there, that's like $600 if every 100 viewers subscribe. And that's per session. Yeah. Because yeah, even if they good. don't watch, we get the money. Yeah. That's like, Jesus Christ, that's $100 per person for the main session. And I would just give you all kind of from mine. Be like, you know, you get yours from the main session. Yep. I would just give like you, hey, 50 bucks, here you go. It's a month. Here you go, extra 50. Mm -hmm. This is for probably playing D&D. For being here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for literally playing D&D. Yeah. The shame Matt quit. Hilarious <laughs> <laughs> if we got partner. <laughs> but anyway. No. All right, so you've sent the information. They've stated they'd like two days to corroborate the data, unless you would like to view it themselves. What? This is, I just I just noticed someone in chat like thirty minutes ago said something. What? Use the force loop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said something about it. I didn't hear. You. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, the public R and D court has requested two days to look at the data, or you can go there yourself. Doesn't yeah, matter. Um, otherwise, the only other thing you have is the station at Varro, or if you would like to look up any kind of equipment or anything like that, repair your ship, help the, uh, the damage you got. <laughs> help the R&D guy build more jump drives, speak with outbound flight crew, as I think you were going to do. Yeah. All right. So, I'm, well, I don't want to speak more about out for the jump drive on the AT thing. Yeah. 13. Well, I guess I could learn about stuff they might have ran into, and then... You're helping out with that? You're no, that's for a blank star. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's helping out his own way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm helping out. My people. Yeah. They talk to the app on Star Survivors about what they encountered. And right. I guess how the contact with those Obama first went. Alright. So, hey. before like they just contact. The actual event itself was headed up by the Jedi Master and Jedi Knight on board. Would you like to speak with them, or would you like to speak with the actual Republic Naval crew? Them first. Okay. I trust them to do that more. I don't know if they're in charge. They probably found out, and they probably knew more. Being with. Okay, but you're starting with the Republic Naval crew. No, I'm starting with the. Oh, the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought. I, sorry, I took it as the other way. My apologies. All right, so. You are speaking with. Please hold. As I get his name again, Sabath. So yes, Sabath. 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 And who's the other one? He's got a paddle. Thirteen knights on board, but his immediate. Um, Lorana. Sabath and Lorana. Your snout tickles. You know that? Your snout tickles. This is your snout. You tickle the piece of shit. I'm gonna tickle your snout with my snout. <laughs> Damn it. Blondie, don't sit on the fucking intro toe. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't. Alright, so. You are led to Master. Jora. Jora Sabath. So I can spell him. Oh, Moses! <laughs> Let not people go! It's actually part of the red scene, this scene. <laughs> it's my favorite scene from the Star Trek Bible. <laughs> hey, was that when all of the fans had a war? No, that was the Star Trek Wars. You were thinking of the Star Wars Trek. <laughs> That's right. Oh! <laughs> 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 just like apologizing. <laughs> Oh, upset no. Blondie. <laughs> Blondie was upset. Blondie, Blondie will remember that. <laughs> Blondie will remember that. <laughs> her name was calculated incorrectly. It always uses your nickname instead of her proper name. 
So it doubles the amount of dislike. <laughs> oh, Stardew Valley um, multiplayer tomorrow. Oh, for finally? Officially? Well, that's not changed. out for a while. Now. Tons of changes now. It was like, I think it was beta for a while. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I remember there's like a ton of changes. I like remember my like friends are playing tons it. Tons of events, like a night thing in winter, a bunch of other stuff. Again, we're getting on topic. Nice. This will never play that game, so yeah. It's great. I have the uh, GOG free version if you want. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All I don't right. care enough. I don't, want to play, I don't want to play Stardew Valley. You're speaking with Joris Sabah, the Jedi Master in charge of the event. Actually, new master uh, at the time, what? Jedi Master Dooku, and also Jedi Master Obi. They had assisted with the logistics before they left the Elm area, the Elm system, and headed into the unknown regions. Shots. Snooze. Tea. Just tap her on the head and say snooze. <laughs> Surprisingly, it works. All right. So, history check, please. See if you're familiar with Master Sabah. <laughs> What's a Sabat? Uh, Who? Uh, Sixteen. That's a Jedi. The only thing you're aware of, you've heard of him before. He is a very self-assured individual. You want to spell his name real quick? J O R U S. J O R U S. That's the first. And C apostrophe B A O T H. C A O T H. C, C apostrophe, dash, apostrophe, B, apostrophe, B A O T H, B A O T H. This must be. Yep. All right. <clears throat> um. Greetings, Master. I would like to know what you would have, what you have encountered, and before and during the. Uh, Attack. What, what we have encountered? You mean those monsters? That and any other planets you just ran across. Not many other planets. Mostly gas giants. It's to be expected in the unknown regions. The uninhabitable wasteland. You are. Looks at you. You a Jedi or not? Technically, no. I was just recently a Jedi until I still had to deal with Ma Naga Sadao. <laughs> well, as creatures, they were the main bane of our existence. They chased you for a while then? Six of that patrol craft encountered us in an unnamed star system. And I'm not going to bother giving you the location. <coughs> it's an unnamed yeah. star system. Unknown star system, past the Elum sector. You can look at the galactic coordinate, take the square, move one over. That's where they encounter it. Yes, uh, at first we hailed them, but encountering non Republic alliances this is part of our goal. We to expand the knowledge of the Republic and leave this, leave this galaxy. Find greater things as the Force wills it. These creatures, after scanning us and their organic vessels, began to open fire. D4, 5, and 6 were gone within minutes. Attempted evasive maneuvers, luckily we were able to initiate a hyperdrive jump out of the system. We sent our distress call after drifting. Some of their fighter craft harassed us. We were able to fight them off with D1, 2, and 3. D4 was leaking atmosphere. It was not a pretty sight. Many of our people died. And they never said anything other than they were seeking a home. That's all they said? Seeking a home? That is it. And how did you hear that they were saying that? It was a standard broadcast, actually. Incomprehensible language at first, but then it came through as a force. A voice. It was almost as though the force itself was speaking to us. My Padawan was able to gather many of the the survivors into the craft you found us in the area. And when he motions to his paddle, when he motions to a brunette woman, about 16, 17, very. Hello, brunette. <laughs> 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 Different, <George>. <laughs> <laughs> Different character! Different character! 
So I'll just carry a sheet if I ever need to bring him back. <laughs> I've gotten that upgrade yet. <laughs> Brunette woman, uh, about 16, 17 years old. Off, away from him a little bit and seemingly just trying to stay out of the conversation. She doesn't want to experience it, this, this crap again. <laughs> Probably. Maybe. If you'd like to attempt to sense how she's feeling, you may. Inside check. If you wish to use the force, so you can do a force charisma check as well. I'm going to do both. Because <laughs> that was a one on inside. Dude, she's totally cool. That's a four on... <laughs> force wisdom, you said? Charisma. That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can't tell exactly why she's staying out of the conversation. She is. That much is clear, regardless of what you're wanting. <laughs> just, just I'll, respect, I'll, I'll respect the feelings that she wants to stay out of the conversation. <laughs> now you got to walk over, grab her, and be like, talk to me, bitch. <laughs> you, you're there too. Tell me what you know. Ah, get away from Tell me, me what you got. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just, 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 <laughs> show me what you got. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to speak to this deaf person. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> so you got to speak to him. <laughs> God, the watch is going to be burning. him was funny. And it's a sad book at the same time. But, all right, so she's staying off the side. Master Cyloth now is regaling you with his tant, his story of when he dealt with some dark Jedi in the Elrude sector. Um, Speaking very boastfully of his uh, antics in regards to dealing with the uh, dark Jedi. Same. I nod like I'm listening and say, oh, look at the time I have to go now. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Alright, so you move off. You step away. You met them at the atrium of the Jedi Temple. As they had, you had spoken with the receptionist, and she's still kind of a nice person to you, you know. Even though you chose to leave the order, they're still willing to respect your choices and work with you. Because you're still helping the Republic. I did leave. There's a little judgment. Stop of evil Sith. There's a little judgment going on here. A little bit. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Alright, so. I guess I will. Leave because also nothing really came out of that except how they can communicate. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. It could just be a huge fluke. Maybe the Force is sentient. Maybe it doesn't use midi chlorians. She said that Jeff walks out. <laughs> Damn it, Jeff! The hell! <laughs> All right, so actually, you know what? Let's see if Jeff intervenes, shall we? Who would like to roll to see if Jeff intervenes? Would you like to respond? No. <laughs> I got a 17. Would you like Jeff to intervene? Would you like Jeff to intervene? Sure, I can use some Jeff wisdom. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jeff wisdom. <laughs> All right, so. Hey, Ann, I gotta, I gotta write this down right. It's Jeff! Exclamation point. All caps. <laughs> Hold and on. in bold. Gesture and hand wave. <laughs> Slash gesture wave. Yeah. <laughs> Slash gesture. Jazz hands. Jeff. Alright, really so. There's no water. She's just trying Jeff. to drink. No. <laughs> Jeff then showed up. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Alright, so. Roll initiative. As you all are walking out, Cyboth and his apprentice are walking back. And as he's walking up, you can see, you hear. Blasted drop. Boom! And you hear Boom! impact of flesh meeting stone. You turn and look over, and you see Cyboth has been thrown into a column. Jeff is standing there with his arm out there. Gang! <laughs> <laughs> the apprentice is just mortified. Do I see Jeff, Jeff's caretaker nearby? Hmm? Do I see Jeff's caretaker nearby? Yes, Dorlin is running out of the elevator. What in the fuck? I also run up. Jeff, Jeff, what's going on? What are you doing? What's doing? Why are you slamming into a pillar? You see him hold something. He's holding a sword, a barbed sword. Drops it. Make your check real quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sword, barbs. Uh, the fuck is it? Um, what is this? Twenty-one. That Vong you captured had one of those. Oh, so it's one of their swords. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm handling that real quick. Her need water. Yep, bowl is bone dry. She a thirsty hoe. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Y'all are some thirsty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, for her being thirsty means she's always hungry. I already gave her food. When there I is time here, all the same. That was just a joke, because her always begging yeah. food. <laughs> she will. Yeah. That's why you have to only give her one cup a day. Uh, well, she'll just keep eating. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my poor you would, too. Mm hmm. Penny. So my, my old lab would have too. Uh, Penny so has no knees. My old lab ate my whole birth chocolate birthday cake. Really? Yes, one year. Holy crap. And she was fine. <laughs> she was, it was the happiest day of her life. She was like, a whole chocolate birthday cake. My, my day is good. My, grandma, my grandmother's, um, what was it? It was a mutt, I guess. Terrier. Some kind of terrier mutt. Mm -hmm. Ate an entire pound bag of Hershey Kisses. Tin foil and all. <laughs> hey, good times. Yeah. yeah. Her poop must have been shiny. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Heidi was a watermelon on toothpicks, so <laughs> nicest dog in the world, but half <laughs> book. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Jeff so, was angry. Slammed him into a pillar, dropped the oh, barbed yeah. sword. Jeff just, just force slammed a Jedi Master into a pillar. <laughs> boom! Boom! And drop the barb sword at your feet. So, gang. Confirmed, Jeff's part of the Vaughn kill him. <laughs> 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 it's all SNO2 needed to kill him. <laughs> now that file pawned out of the way. So Now I've killed the real BBEG. Yeah. <laughs> Next game! <laughs> Win! <laughs> Alright, so, nod or shake your head. Truthful with truthful about Vaughn or something? Gun. Gun. He points down at the sword. God, I wish I could speak to it. <laughs> God. See him reach in. God. It's an archive record. That yay big. Blue oh, and blue. Not the data drive. God. This. Will, will reading this make you let him go? <laughs> Is there another reason why you're holding him there? He's not holding him. He's now leaning against the pillar. He slid down the pillar. He let him go. It was just a quick force push. Oh. Overpowered, but it was a quick force push. <laughs> the apprentice is like on the border pulling out her lightsaber. <laughs> the moment. And Dorlin is like, what was that for? Got it. No. 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 Got it. No. Good one sided conversation. Why did he do that? He thinks that that master is a little arrogant and lied about how many people could have been saved. He's not wrong about the arrogance, but does. Can I? Lied about how many people could have been saved? Feels like this master might have provoked the event with the bomb. Oh. Dorland's like, I don't know. That thing we've got, it can't speak. So, there's no way to tell if he's right or wrong. So we got meaning the, the one locked up? Hmm? Meaning the one the one who's on, we got locked up? Yep. Basically, everyone in the Republic has been invited to come talk to this thing because they can't get it to speak. Well, yes, my time. <laughs> my turn. My I'll, turn. I'll take the barbed sword with me. Alright. Stab it into the bar. Speak now, bitch. Alright. So, is there anything else you would like to ask Jeff? Uh. Give another. Nice little archive ship. Yes. It's a standard Jedi archive ship. From what you can tell, no encryption looks like it came right out of the archives. So um, it's going to be some historical information, assuming. Correct. All right, I'll just pop that into a data pad I, I got. I got right, while I you're right in front of Jeff. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Might as well. All right, as you put just the data pad in. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> as you put the data pad in, put it in the data pad, it comes up, and it is a record of a Jedi Master. Let's see if I can 
find this guy's name. I'm try- sorry, I'm trying to find him at the same time. He's talking to you. I don't need culture. I don't need culture. Culture is swine. <laughs> you cultured swine. I don't need your culture, you cultured swine. <laughs> Get out of here, you culture. Car. <laughs> you little piece of shit. <laughs> Start going off about it, you little piece of shit. Alright. Alright, so. No. I just need a name. No, I don't. I don't need his backstory. No, I don't need who was born. No, I don't need his wife's name. What's his name? Yeah. Well, it's like, um. That's his daughter's name, goddammit. Bridge. <laughs> I don't care if his, if, if, his, if his son's name is Junior. What's his What's his name? <laughs> uh, we called the dog Indiana. Excuse me. We called the dog Han Solo. <laughs> All right. So this individual. As soon as I take my glasses off, of course. Oh, that's cute. I had flashbacks to the Campbell people from Mass Effect. Ah! Yeah. Vortra, right? Campbell soup people. Vorta. 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 No, Vorta was correct. Yes. Oh, Vorta. 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 Those things, yeah. You look very delicious. No one yeah. Always had a smile on their face. You know, I got these scars. So get shot by sniper. They get shot by sniper rifle. Batman. <laughs> that is a piece of teamwork. New runs off. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> no, please. Just I'm just, Batman. You just let the, you just let the criminals in Batgirl. prison deal with your, deal with your people. Hmm? You just let the prisoners, the prisoners in prison deal with your yep. people. All right, but this is a Fosh Jedi Master, and he was starting. F O S H. Actually, it's a sheet. My bad. F O S H. F O S H. Yes. Cool. Fosh Jedi Master. It was turning towards the Sith. The note state of this individual's decline, and clear signs of such dark side inclinations. She was a former Padawan of Thracia Cholem. She disappeared about 20 years ago. No, 10, sorry. It's really hard having to do math, like with BC. It goes the wrong way. But uh, yeah, she disappeared about 10 years ago. Oh, I need you to roll a perception check now, Hawk. Yes, ma'am. Your vessel Buh. had some. Had 24. Some All right, so. Your team, after searching more of Zonama Sakat, mm-hmm. find but one life sign. It's out of the ordinary. They go investigate it. Oh, they're gonna have to fight their way there. So, <laughs> you're rolling against me in a couple minutes. All right. The statements on this state that this person had encountered many. Odd creatures. She referred to as force users, but force immune. They cannot be sensed with the force. They cannot be attacked or hurt with the force. They can speak through it. The last record states that she disappeared heading into the unknown regions. Well, I think it's safe to assume where she went to die. Alright, so as Jeff sees you read that, ground, Jeff hands you a locator. Chip. Grant. Wealth of various things, aren't you? Grant. Sing! You know, roll a d12 for him. What does it give you? <laughs> yeah, I gotta figure it out. What else does he pull out of his ass? 11. It's a heavy assault carbine. Seems to have six barrels. I'll have to find a use for this, thank you. History check. Um, here we go. 13 because I like crossovers. There are various things carved into each barrel. Carved under the site says, give them that sweet business. 
Sorry. <laughs> 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 And just lit everybody up. <laughs> How many did you hit? None. I have a negative modifier on this one. This weapon. <laughs> I literally rolled a twenty and missed once. <laughs> this is supposed to be a sweet business, right? Or yeah, it, it's only six barrels. It's like a mini sweet business. That's why. Yeah. Each of the barrels do have some kind of cliche carved into them, though. Some of them say, "Are you looking at me?" C. One of them says, "Pew pew," and an arrow pointing to the other end. Various things such as that. If you would like each one described, I can. <laughs> uh, I think I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so it's a small galley thing? Or? Yeah. Mini galley gun. Well, I guess I have a uh, fancy upgrade for my uh, uh. galley laser. <laughs> Uh. Oh, um, there is one thing you can tell from the design of said Gatlin laser. It's probably closer to Old Republic era than now. So, pre Rusan Reformation, but not. Forever, like not forever ago, ancient. To keep, kind of give you a time frame. All right. Oh, I'll give you one more. Have you open? No one cares. Uh, I guess I thank him. I tried to make sure the master is okay, and then yeah, he's fine after he gets up and he's muttering something about useless droids, and then realizes it was a droid that sent him into a wall. <laughs> um, droids don't have force powers normally. Yep. And then I skedaddle on out to visit that uh, prisoner. <laughs> As he was okay. trying to start a conversation, he's like, yep, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for another long winded conversation, old man. <laughs> old man. Old right. man. Old man. I just said it, bitch. Who you you said that though, you said that though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, old man. Yeah. Is there anything oh, you would like to I do in the meantime? What? Uh, him. Wow. Hmm? Me Is personally? Like to do? Yes. As, as my character? Yes. And if we need to go get... No. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay. Like, I was just following Marty, like, sit up, dude. I don't have to go... Into, no, I want a Coruscant, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I did find a picture of Jeff. I gave him a picture. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, there we go. Can I, can I open this? Uh, damn. Um. <laughs> wow. I guess the best thing I'm going to have to do is cast the desktop. But, like, I, I, I can't test... It can't cast just that image? I, no, I can't. Well, the problem is, okay, it lets you embed images, but it doesn't let you just display that image. Like, I'll give the Mac this. I can open the image in a separate preview window and just cast that, which is cool. Uh, there you go. Cast. Okay. No. Oh, remote screen. Can you see my screen here, or we see? Battle what, of we see unidentified what desert planet. <laughs> Battle uh, of the okay. unidentified. When I open desert this, planet. do you see one note? Just, no. no. Okay. We're still at the battle. Of we the saw the cursor planet. move. Desert planet. Stop somewhere and then. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Because there's times ah, changing. Cast yeah. to cast desktop. I see a desktop. Moth. Wallpaper. I see wallpaper. Desktop. That's how it looked like it. This. No. Jeff. Alright. Cool. I'm surprised that worked as well as it did. That's what the Republic put a card Yeah. Alright, you go. Back to Coruscant, you go. Whee! If it lets me. You know. <laughs> Oh, okay, or can just freeze. <laughs> that works sure. Sure. <laughs> you go, thanks, Sure. Oh. Okay. Ah. 
<laughs> Did it actually take up more of the uh, more of the screen or not? Um, it zoomed in kind of for a little bit. Okay. Because apparently, uh, yeah, it just won't do it. Sure. Well, there's easy way to. Yeah, it's because I turned it off. <laughs> you still see you doing all of it? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, now it's just changed. Cool. Right. I unplugged, there the, I unplugged the fucking yeah. power! <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> Alright, never mind. I don't even want to know anymore. Alright, so. You approach the Republic Naval Command, who has taken control of said prisoner has brought him to a Republic holding facility on Coruscant. Way below. Like, we're getting near the 3,000 level area with charges around it and shit. Uh Way down there. They kept that devil way down in the hole. (laughs) So, they led you down there. You are approached and present your credentials as a Republic fleet commander. That's on fleet captain. Yep, you are. (laughs) That's right. You actually have rank, surprisingly. So. I think the only thing is that we do it. <laughs> what now, mother person? <laughs> Yippee ki yay. Yippee ki yay. Yep. So, after some quick procedures and verifying you are who you say you are, they lead you down to an elevator and you descend. You know, I should have been squabbling this thing like, and you talk behind me. You know, I really wish I could move my character on this elevator. <laughs> Oh, SNO2. Well, that's like a disposition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a protocol droid. The one for public guard. Really fast. I, my button's on the wrong floor. My finger's on the wrong floor for the button, but somehow we're going to the right one. <laughs> <laughs> you exit out into a fairly well furnished and lit area. There are a ring of Republic Naval Guards, as well as a mixture of commandos within them from, from Clone Commandos, which holding position. Main block, there sits a Republic officer. Me. Ah, Fleet Commander Merck. You stated you're here to see the uh, extra galactic prisoner. Beep, 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 beep. Tire blast door. <laughs> you see four layers just peel back. There's one hallway, and down at the end is a creature you remember seeing being held up. Various light, hard light bondage held in place. A force field in front of him, and four more. Commandos. Please, after you. Me little man. Alright. So you walk up to this individual. Yes. Or as close as I can get with the force field, I guess. Hmm? I walk straight up into the force field. My face on it. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm crazy, motherfucker. Sorry, how's that? Sorry. So, yeah, uh, that happens occasionally. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so this creature's standing there. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah. Good day to you, too, sir. Good day. <laughs> Entire section, of course, huh? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what happened? Nah. <laughs> nah, bruh. Dude, where's my car? Let me see it. God damn it. <laughs> so funny. Again? I gotta top the engines again. God damn it. 20 minutes later. <clears throat> you see him climbing it. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> How did you get up there? <laughs> I use a five force points. I activate psychic speech. Alright. I tuned the... the Psychic imprint of all language. For one hour, I gain ability to understand any language I hear or attempt to read. In addition, right. when I speak, all creatures understand the language I understand. What I say regardless of what language they use. All right, so you're able to actually speak to this creature. As <laughs> <laughs> you hear it say, "I'm smiling." <laughs> Fear your pests. Taking useful worlds. <laughs> Be crushed. Well, I definitely understood that. <laughs> see cuts almost in the skin. They seem to be self-inflicted. Perception roll. How hard? Nice! 
Voice. Voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Seven. He has the math. Twenty-two. All right. This, these are self-inflicted wounds. How old? Range. Some of them look very recent. Well, at least recent to pre-capture. <laughs> others, others have developed heavy scar tissue. This appears to be something that happens fairly regularly to this individual. So he regularly wounds himself when he can. Yes. That's a fun thing we do. So, as he's snarling a little bit more, <sighs> you may understand us, at least what I am saying, but you do not understand what you have. A safe place to live. And you're weak. We have a safe place to live that you want, or a safe place from you? <laughs> a place we want. And your inferior tiny species will be crushed. All of you. And he looks around. <laughs> including you, metal man. He seems to particularly snarl at SO2. You know, I'm just like, I don't understand what <laughs> Dude, he just called you out, motherfucker. <laughs> dude, dude, bro. He said that chassis ain't lit as fuck. Did you shoot about my chassis? <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Did you mean? Bam, bam, bam! Fire, no, but no. Uh, force field, randomly ricochets and kills a clone. <laughs> no, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry, sorry. I have a moment there. Sorry, bro. I'll call down. I'll call actually, down. They want our planets because of cause the safe space. Does that mean these are SJWs? <laughs> yes. In space this world, warriors. in this world, crimes of disagreeing with someone on their culture and beliefs are considered especially heinous. The individuals that are offended by this are known as by a special unit as the social justice warriors. These are their stories. Bum bum! <laughs> <laughs> Law and order, they're social they're justice they're unit. <laughs> as he said, he, that our world is a safe space for them. Safe space from what? <laughs> Away from where we came. We have no home. We will make one. You will be excellent. Guys, you guys make a minute beside. No. <laughs> so, you got something in here that I was going to give you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I got a discount. What? Wait a minute, I got a discount. Hold on. Oh, you wanted more coupons? Oh. I have two. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 that I walk away. <laughs> All right. So you left the uh, prison. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, on the way by. He crazy. <laughs> All right. So you communicated with them. I mean, communicated. All I do is talk about murder and death and telling us. <laughs> so he immediately turns around, beings! Boom! Go to by the next. Translate. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what he says, or I kill you. <laughs> My sniper rifle can do triple what your hut points are. What are you talking about? Nothing. Hit points. All right. What now, nerd? Well, one of my droids on the one of my fighting uh, that one. All right, roll against me. See how they're doing in this little fight of theirs. Seven. They Not very well. <laughs> They've actually encountered resistance. Surprising resistance. What's the resistance? The uh, they recognize the sound of a lightsaber. Uh, okay. Lightsaber. Also, blaster fire return. Some of it seems to be traps. Some of it seems to be natural barricades. Others of it, actual changes to the planet's surface. It wasn't revealed on most scans, but appears to be under the surface and fairly well hidden within an actual crevice of some kind. Most likely hidden from sensor sweeps. But they knew they found something. 
And they've reported it, I'm sure. Okay. How many doors did I lose? I don't mind 100. 99. <laughs> Only 20 right now. Huh? Only 20. But they're cautiously moving forward. As HK units aren't dumb. They're not B1. I have to charge in and be like, yo, what the oh, They're not B1s. <laughs> Oh no, one of them got cut down with a lightsaber. I'll investigate. <laughs> oh no, no, no he got cut, cut down, down to too. Bam, bam, Oh god. <laughs> We're all dying. Run away. Run Wait, away. We, can't, we aren't programmed to run. Bam, 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 bam. Waddle away. Alright. Oh, what the hell? Alright, so that's what's going on. Unzo Monsekat. So. Of course. As you're tuned into Black Stars Network, this will all be live dated to you. After a couple minutes of delay. Um. Merc. I call him Merc. I call him Merc. He's my Merc. Well, well there are Cokes. Me. There are Cokes if you want one. Hmm? There are Cokes if you want one. No, I'm good. Okay. I forgot to mention that when you got here. My bad. Let's go Bakra. Alright. Boom! <laughs> you return to Bakra. <laughs> All right, we'll say all of this event, knock another day off just for back and forth resupplies, things like that, any necessary rolls. And will you knock another day off, please? But One day later. <coughs> Dawn of the last day. Dawn of the final day, infinite time remains. <laughs> yeah, just one day later. <laughs> just straight up. And then we get that. Super fat. 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 Super Okay, since my dirt's been moving cautiously for a whole day. You may roll again. Alright. 18 this time. Because they don't need sleep. Let's see how I do. Oh, you buy two. Alright, <laughs> they have actually managed to enter the area that was being held down. They find the individual you saw in the data pad. This, she now has cuts along her body and wears dark robes and barbed armor. Lightsaber's still blue. You, know, you can't really find a kyber crystal out in the middle of fucking nowhere. But no, that's you know. Tom yeah. <laughs> that's but what she was actually doing. There are also four of the Vong with her. They have been pinned down the Vong are ready to fight in hand hand combat to the death, but the HK droids are better than that. Punch to the face! Ching ching! Handcuffs. <laughs> you now have four Vong prisoners and one Fosh Jedi Master. What is the interesting backstory level of the party character? Well, out of can out of game. She's one of the first people to encounter the Yuzong Vong. A couple of them have entered the system a couple times, but they're almost always killed because they're crazy, yeah. like, legit crazy. Um, this Jedi was actually captured by them because she had gone into the unknown regions fleeing the Jedi as she felt the Sith and actually embraced their teachings because she could understand them hmm. and believed them to be on the right path to gaining dark side powers. Out of game, they actually don't have any force powers. They're force immune. They only speak through the Force using their language, which is why they had such a hard time communicating with other normal people. That led to a lot of chaos. Right. That's one of the initial first issues the New Republic has when they deal with them. Because they have no fucking idea how to talk to them. All right. So. Oh, okay. They've captured them and now holding position. Okay. Waiting. Extraction. Yep. All right, hold on. Let me know. You've got them. I'm gonna note who it is just so we have a reference. Do you want the name of the character? Yeah, I mean you did it last time. Okay, you wrote it down. Yeah. V e r g e r e. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. <laughs> that's what the name is. Yeah, no, that's uh, V e r. G E R E. -E. 
I take it they're being held by Blank Star. By the HP yeah. yeah, to be picked up by a Blank Star vessel. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right, so you've returned to Bakura. Yeah. All right, you're back in orbit of Bakura, an outer rim world you're very familiar with. The base is still under construction. What are you doing? Um, repair check and then going down to check out the ooze. Mechanics check, please. Eighteen. All right. They've actually managed to get the landing bay act, landing bay completely repaired. All right. Because there wasn't much in the way that was a problem there. It was just getting the doors working. You can actually dock Serenity now and fully hide it. <laughs> All right. Is, do you choose to dock there or are you going to stay in orbit? Uh, stay in orbit now. Okay. Well, my ship would feel so. a little... Stay in orbit by itself. Go down and drop ship. Alright. Noting the repair bay is fixed. The docking bay is repaired. Uh, yeah. Alright, so. Docking bay is repaired. As you land, the main fighter launch bay is very similar to how you left it. Uh, rusted hunked out a mess. Plates are being replaced as fast as they can get them from the manufacturing on the two Venators in orbit that were diverted by Republic Naval Command at your request when Krang left. They are repairing as fast as they humanly can. There's an R&D vessel docked out in front of the launch area. Clones are cutting down trees, burning the remains, some of them are building a log cabin because why the fuck not? They have enough trees. <laughs> Natural yep, the rest of them are burning off the ivy that is growing over the launch catapult area. As you proceed downwards, the corridors are being repaired. The rock that had fallen is being put back into place and hoisted and being held in with metal beams like you'd see in an old school Nevada mine. As you walk into the area where the relic is held, you go through the base, making your way through the winding corridors, yep. the Republic R&D team is sitting there. There is now a fully replicated set of Katarn armor. Tarn armor is the basis for the clone armor, just because so, I'm using proper terms. It is completely silvery in appearance and seems to exactly match the two normal clones that are standing in full phase one armor right there. Okay. Looks as though it came right off them and someone spray painted it silver, only it is pulsing with the same almost breath like tempo of the sphere, which is now fully uncovered. There is a semicircle base that the sphere appears to almost be floating over. Your R&D lead team lead stands up. Oh, 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 oh. excuse me. Uh, um, y you're, you're, and he kind of stops for a minute. Uh, uh, no, not general anymore. It's, sorry, it's been a minute. This is a uh, platoonian. Duh, do you need a basis description for them? Um, kind of like have an underbite and some fur. Kind of oh, think Khajiit, no. I guess would be yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I'm Chavis Kiddy. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I get kind of uh, caught up in my work. C H E B I S. C H E B B I S. Space. K E D I. Stavon doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I give no shits. <laughs> person I will die. This person I will kill. Yeah. Yeah, yep. He will be your main point of contact for this item. Yeah. This news. news. Hey, baby. I got some special news. It's white. Comes out, comes out of pop action pump. In the story, it's that Misty News. Yeah. No, the other uses. <laughs> All right, so he shakes your hand. He seems to be rather bookish. Company news. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tell me more about the Sus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he does seem to be rather bookish for his species. Here, let me give you a. Oh, here you go. This is a terrible. <clears throat> this is a terrible picture. Therefore, it's perfect. <laughs> this. I guess it's not, fur would not be the best description. This is a Clutunian. Uh, 
usually native species to Clatoonie, of course. They are more likely bounty hunters and henchmen. So it's very odd seeing someone in one of them in a scientific role. But of course, spe- cultures and species are not monolithic in their choices. Yep. So, anyway. Don't want to be racist, though. Of course not. Or this guy's species is. Species ish. Alright, so. Mm. Get your image on Bakura. To hold the place. To hold the place. And I do have to pee, so. Yeah, it's that. Alright, so, yes, the Clutunian, other bookishly states, uh, uh, we've trained it to mimic all kinds of things. Whatever it is, it seems to be somewhat sentient. Doesn't seem... Good to hear, I guess. Maybe. Doesn't seem to understand complex gestures, but can be trained to do simple things. He motions to the armor. After it took the armor and the arm piece, it proceeded to copy the rest. The clone was rather uncomfortable with being engulfed for a minute, but it, it worked. Can the armor be used, or is it just... Yeah, he reaches out and picks up the armor and hands it to you. It feels a little odd. And you can tell the armor feels a little squishier than you would think. Almost like it's made of gel. But you can hold it. You can wear it if you want. You can hold it and thump it. Yep. Does it feel like different besides being squishy? A little bit more malleable. Can I take a blaster of it? Anything I said he puts it in there, but um Did you actually ask that? No, not yet. No. Okay. Did you? I'm thinking yeah. of uh okay. kind of sure. yeah. We haven't tried shooting at it yet. We didn't know what would happen if it got angry. And um, I, I assume looking from the way it seems to react around energy, that it would merely absorb the shot. Yes, it seems to eat energy. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Dissipates all along it, and the sphere undulates a little and grows a little bit. Hmm. Well, you shoot the sphere or the armor? Yeah. As it shot that dark, the sphere grew. Hmm. This appears to be fascinating. It appears to be communal. It shares the energy. See him run his finger along it. You see the ripple, but not for long. It's 
so odd how this was created. Um, and I, I tried lifting the piece of armor and holding the force. Nothing happens. It does not lift at all. Hmm. Hmm. Um. That's nice to be some armor. So far, that seems like it's like, yeah. Um. I asked for a clone to try putting on a full set of the armor. <laughs> yeah, one of the clones. Well, it's gonna feel awkward as hell. <laughs> Takes off. He's got the black undersuit on. <laughs> Yeah, this is weird as hell. I can't, can't see. Doesn't seem to do the tech part of it. Am I near a wall? <laughs> I try picking him up. Nada. You can go take that off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wrong wall. Thank you for. It's lighter than the normal armor. I kind of liked it. It's, it's, not the helmet. It's perfect. <laughs> Puts his armor back on. I think I might fiber couture and stuff on a blade. Alright. Stab it. and do anything. Sting does pierce it. You hear it kind of. Then you pull it out of the arm. Well, not many back things that. It gets force and energy, and energy but not physical energy. Interesting. Mark that for later. <laughs> We're gonna put that in the journal. I pull out one of my older lightsaber hilts that I don't use with the crystal I don't use. Okay. Check it in. Turn on and move the blade close to the piece of close to the piece of armor. Alright, as it gets closer. See <laughs> the lightsaber begins to heat up as the blade is being absorbed. And right, right before it goes and burns out, you can hear the sound. You've worked with lightsabers enough to know it's going to burn out and pull. The goo starts to follow it a little bit, but pulls off after it's a fair bit away. <laughs> it was clearly going to short out the power cell on that lightsaber. Yeah, and it wanted the one power from that. It's yep. what Matt was looking for the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, was he what was he looking for? He was looking for like, armor that was short. Yeah, that shit, <laughs> would, that shit will break a freaking lightsaber. And we'll take just about any shot. And it's light, so he could come. Yeah, it has no strength requirement. The only issue is, uh, don't have any power on <laughs> when you're there. It'll eat that shit. And no, no flying spaceships, probably. And <laughs> no idea. There's probably a lot of stuff you have to worry about. There's some. It's put in the box. And nanobots. Oh, you finally <laughs> fucking figured it out! You shit had it. it took you the whole damn session that I had given you the answer. <laughs> It'll eat him all day long. Yeah, at least he figured it out. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering. So yes, come on. You want up here? Come up here. Like, not my station, not my come up here. <laughs> yeah. Not my station, not a problem. Come up here. Come up here. Um, no. Up here? Come on. Come up here. Nope. Death stare from dog. <laughs> dog holds a water. Do you need something? Do you need something? No. It's got water still. Nope. Um. Put something on your eyebrow. Get it. Here you go. Come on up. Up here. Well, there you go. Can't modify it. They're uh, roughly the technology. It's roughly the uh, stuff. But. Uh, how far have you tried moving the armor away from it? Because so we actually haven't. We've just been trying. Excuse me. So we've been trying to mess with it. Uh, uh, see what it can do. I, mean, I haven't tried moving it yet. We can do those tests if you like. Can we take any piece of it? We have not. 
same motions for container. The standard storage box crate. Boom, puts the helmet in. Play around, shall we? Alright, so you spend the better part of a day moving this armor in and out. Finding out that if it's moved without, outside of a certain range of the sphere, it turns back into the gelatinous, kind of oozy material. But it doesn't go anywhere. You, and eventually, you put it on an LAATI gunship. It doesn't leave the crate. Still alive, still moves around. Kind of. Still kind of reacts to Yeah, you know, like jello. Sure. Yeah, any kind of energy immediately within a certain range that it detects. It needs to be visible, it goes after. It needs to be within, we'll say, a foot. <coughs> so, power pack goes after it. It tries to go through the walls, but it's not capable of entering the walls. That seems to keep it contained. It is not something that appears to actively manipulate its environment. It seems to work around its environment. Shush. Snooze. Uh, I guess before we leave, we'll move the container back near the ooze and it reforms into the shape. It does. Okay, so the main one's also got main control over it. Kind of a slave system, it seems. But you are also able to, when exposed to something to replicate, or do an energy away from the sphere, it will take that shape and do as essentially as it's trained. So it's not required to have that sphere nearby. It just seems to be that seems to be the more of it there is, the more intelligent you'll say it gets. Hive mind. <clears throat> more or less. So theoretically, you could grow another one of these spheres. So I guess we you take roll. this to where the nanobots are. Okay. Did you roll your information spawn for your day? No, I was going to fold it. Yeah. Oh, so, so I will spend around doing all the stuff. That's only for my first thing, finally. Nice! Finally done! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> I, mean, I don't have that. I don't do that. I forgot goal. what my goal was. <laughs> yeah, so did I. So, good luck. <laughs> Uh, remind me when you get there. All right, so something with the Jedi Master and doing something. Oh yeah, the mind control device. Mind control four. Yeah, using the force. Or just over. I don't remember what for exactly. Yeah, but you. But I just had. Okay, you were finally able to. Device. I think it was get the populaces to. Um, no, I don't have exact mind for it. Okay, but yes, you were able to control a fair amount of area. Yeah. All right, so. As you return to Center Point Station, on the way you, well, I can't say on the way because you jump instantly. But <laughs> during the t during your t transit time, off Bakura, entering into orbit Center Point, you're able to train it to go after some of the nanobots, or at least the idea of a nanobot. You're going to spend a fair amount of time, probably like eight to ten hours, training it to remove these nanobots on the hull. Right. Roll a mechanics check and a sleight of hand check. That'll work for sure. Natural 20. Nice. You, feel, you are able to teach this goo to eat the nanobots. Hooray! So it spreads out on it all. <laughs> after about, we're going to say, because the center point station is pretty damn big, after about a day and a half, it gets the job done. The emitters are coated in this goo, but you're able to quickly gather it up by igniting a couple of the unwanted lightsabers, and then, oh yeah! <laughs> contain them. They're fitting in two nice cargo ships now because they're pretty big, but you got the job done. The emitters are clean. Yeah. There's going to be some that was like I need to this, so I guess returning this is back to Baccarat, just to uh, see where the rest of it. Uh, Alright. So, yeah. Let's get on my place. So 
another dash. Yep. Then the little box is important now down. I guess I'll change this as well. Yes, it's been like, put it at 10. No. No, I was going to. 12, 13. Let's see. 13. It's a little like 13. Days for this. Yeah, 13. So it's uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, four. Uh, 14. Five more days. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> Numbers again. All right. What now? You have 14 days until the arrival. Okay, I'm going to, uh, hold on, I have to change uh, center point station status. Oh, and roll for the clones for the uh, heat dissipator. Two rolls, right? Yes, please. 19 and 9. 19 will handle it. The heat emitters have been prepared. And that should be the last one. Correct. So, I expect to talk to the research people about the phone. So, the heat sinks are clean, the nanobots are done, hard drive is mostly is basically working. I'm inside, I'm in the system. Yep. So, power can come back on. Yes, you're able to fully initiate center point station. <laughs> station turns on, the emitter is returned fully operational. Hard drive is now Mostly functional, it's still marginal state. You do have to get the quantum phone going. Yes, which I'll send yeah. those that stuff to the researchers now. All right. I'm going to put being changed to. Okay. All right, it's being changed. The new virus has been removed. Heat, heat dissipator is fully functional, and the anti intrusion system no longer sees you as a problem child. Yay! You have full control of center point station. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. Now destroy Coruscant. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Puts on a funny looking mask. Destroy Coruscant. Hold on. Destroy Coruscant. <laughs> Who changed my mask? my mask again. Oh no, he's wearing the clone of shame. That clone of shame. I am now Darth Nadine. <laughs> <laughs> the true leader of the Sith. <laughs> now I guess Sidel will bow. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm not going to stop on planet. <laughs> Gave that bitch a planet. Bitches love planet. <laughs> I should stop erasing right here because I just erased the whole. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, so. There you go. So, point is social. Center point is fully functional. Center point is fully functional. I had planned to give you a level, but I feel like it's cheating for two levels in a session, but you did figure it out and earn it. Y'all my level again. Yay! Hey, now I know I'm doing a big level. <laughs> wow, I know. We're just leveling quick. It's amazing Six. how fast it's going with common people. Completes the rest of the game. Completes the rest <laughs> of the game in the next 30 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so it is 8 o'clock. I don't know if you all would like to go any farther or not. That sounds like a good break. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't know if you wanted to jump to uh, Sumardi 5 or not. Just leave it at center point. It's up to you. Yeah, it was at center point. Now. Okay. There you go. It was an excellent place to leave off. Congratulations. Hooray.